Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the daily cryptocurrency. We still have over $26,000 in my Coinbase accounts, but in this video, it's gonna be all about Ethereum. Ethereum is knocking on $2,000 per coins door once again and the merge is happening you might be hearing ethereum merge when is the merge what is the merge is it bullish for ethereum we're going to go over all this and much more this video is going to cover everything you need to know about the merge what exactly it's going to do to ethereum what to expect on the prices and if it's more beneficial, energy consumptions, and much, much more. So make sure you're subscribed with post notifications on because we can do a lot more videos just like this one on different coins if you end up liking this one. So let's dive right into it. So merge, when is merge? What is merge? Ethereum merge coming. Everyone's talking about this merge right now, but not giving any context. So let me break it down for you guys. When you hear about Ethereum merge from now on, I want you guys to understand all this means is Ethereum is changing from proof of work consensus to a proof of stake consensus. Okay, we'll jump into why proof of stake is better later on in the video. But another important thing to consider and understand is that they're calling it a merge is because there are two blockchains that are currently running in parallel. The existing Ethereum blockchain is being merged with a single purpose blockchain called the Beacon Chain. And you guessed it. What is that single purpose chain for the Beacon Chain? Single purpose is to turn Ethereum into a proof of stake consensus. So that's super important. So I'll say it again. The single purpose of the merge is to turn Ethereum to a proof of stake consensus like we first talked about in the video. Now, before we get too much further, let's go over proof of work versus proof of stake and why it's better. So proof of work, which is being used right now by Ethereum and was very successful with Ethereum, obviously, is the mining process where the fastest computer solves a complex problem as a way of verifying a legit transaction as a network. OK, and as a reward, the first computer to solve the problem, a.k.a. fill the order, gets rewarded in cryptocurrency. The more miners, the more difficult it is to earn reward. So the bigger Ethereum gets, the less beneficial this consensus would be to the world. So rewind that 30 seconds if you need to understand proof of work again. But we're going to move on to proof of stake. So what is proof of stake, which is the merge and the upgrade happening to Ethereum that everyone's talking about? Proof of stake is a mining process where the creator of the currency is choosed amongst a pool of other people who have also staked crypto of uh, staked the cryptocurrency so there's no puzzles there's no rewards instead there's just a fee taken from every transaction which saves energy consumption as you can imagine by a lot not everyone is competing against each other, so there's not a bunch of energy being wasted on the fastest computer to solve these puzzles. So energy expectations are predicted to fall around 99% with proof of, proof of stake, which is super important, and I would say it again, but I don't want to bore you guys too much. So rewind that 30 seconds, listen to what proof of stake again, and understand that it's more of a pool um, stakers are put in a pool and you're chosen at random if you have the currency staked and that's the person who is the creator of the coin and there's the fee on every transaction. The good thing about proof of stake is that you have to stake your own cryptocurrency to participate. So if you do something malicious, you could be penalized by losing your cryptocurrency. Therefore, less malicious attacks should be as a result. So it should dramatically lower energy costs and mining costs, making the fees also significantly cheaper. If you guys have been participating in NFTs um, in the last bull market, you remember sometimes the gas fees were $300, $200, $400, $500. So we shouldn't be seeing that anymore, which is a huge bullish thing also. Proof of stake will also lower the amount of new Ethereum coming into the world by about 90%. So some people are saying this is even going to make Ethereum deflationary over the coming years, which is why a lot of people are bullish about this for Ethereum, the merge. Uh, plus, don't forget that Ethereum is now burning more coins than ever. Okay, so their burn rate is higher and they also are going to be having 90% less Ethereum new ethereum coming into the world 
okay, making it maybe more scarce. These two combinations could really be bullish over the coming years for Ethereum. Okay, the merge is considered one of the biggest cryptocurrency events since the genesis of Bitcoin itself because Ethereum's market cap is already so massive and the blockchain has already had worked so well and had so much success that this is one of the most significant changes in cryptocurrency history. Obviously, if something goes wrong with the merge, that could crash Ethereum and it could be one of the biggest falls in cryptocurrency. So that's why they're taking their time with this and it's taking so long because they want everything to be perfected and executed flawlessly. So everyone's wondering what's in store for Ethereum. Well, I'll tell you right now that this is absolutely bullish, but this is mainly bullish for long-term investors. Could we see a huge spike back to $4,000 per coin on Ethereum? Maybe, but the real benefits from this merge are going to happen long-term. We have many respected crypto influencers and analysts that are saying $10,000 to $50,000 per coin for Ethereum over the next 5 to 10 years, basically over the next decade, is not out of the question, which would be around a 5x to a 50x over the next decade. Short term, there are a lot of headwinds in the market, obviously, with the feds and inflation and everything going on right now. So obviously, there's even a possibility that we could see Ethereum back around $1,200 per coin before going back to all-time highs. That's why dollar cost averaging could be one of your best strategies moving forward over the next coming months. Overall, I think that Ethereum is by far the safest crypto asset for long term to have to be investing in right now. And I've actually been talking about this for around two years on my channel, two years now. So if you've been a long term subscriber and you've been following for a long time, then you know that long term for cryptocurrency is key. A good analogy is the tech bubble and the dot com bubble. Most of the companies didn't survive from then, but the ones who did are king. Okay, will Ethereum be the next Amazon over the next 10 to 20 years? Can dollar cost averaging into Ethereum during bearish times like now help you retire even 10 years earlier than expected? These are questions that you need to start considering. And if you made it this far in the video, I'm willing to bet you already considered them. And if Ethereum is successful, also watch out for other markets like NFT marketplaces where Ethereum is going to be used a lot. And also watch out for layer two scaling and also watch out for layer two scaling solutions. However, try not to FOMO during the hype cycles and don't use money that you're going to need in the next few months. That's why I keep preaching about the long term benefits compared to short term. With that said, let's dive into some price predictions for Ethereum. So here we have the chart pulled up and we can see that it's up 16% in the last week, 82% in the past month. So if people have been expecting this merge. You know, it's actually been hyped up for three years now, this crypto merge, and they keep pushing it back, pushing it back and trying to perfect it. So remember, you're playing amongst great investors right now and huge institutional investors that have been anticipating this merge for a while now. Okay, so... Obviously, I have price alert set under $1,500, $1,400, $1,200, $900 per share. That's where I'm looking to load up. I'm dollar cost averaging kind of heavy right now around $20 per day, which isn't too heavy, honestly. Um, but I usually do around $10 per day, so it's about double for Ethereum. Okay, I try to buy a little bit heavier on my price alerts. And I think that Ethereum can shoot up to around $2,400, $2,500, $2,800 in the next few months on the rally news of the merge because it's supposed to happen around September 15th, September 16th. Okay, so we could see a rally up till then. And then once it happens, we can see it might be like a, a buy the rumor, sell the news type thing. We might see a sell off around $1,600 per share. What we're really looking is for macroeconomics to take place. So once Bitcoin goes back bullish, crypto goes into the bullish cycle again, a stock market goes back bullish, feds, you know, we don't have to worry about inflation and all this stuff going on in the macro and wars and everything, you know, new all time highs for Ethereum are definitely in the cards. 
and I think they're 100% in the cards. The question is how long will it take for Ethereum to get back to new all-time highs? And I think it could take anywhere from 12 months to 24 months just to get back to new all-time highs, which would be over a 2x gain on Ethereum. But we're really looking for that $10,000 dollar ethereum coin which would probably take at least five years for ethereum to get there but who knows honestly um cryptocurrency and ethereum and bitcoin are known for moving up way quicker than expected so for all we know you know ethereum could be ten thousand dollars in the next 24 months or sooner with that said i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you learned something smash a big thumbs up if you appreciate me taking time to make this video for you and easy digestible content oh if you're subscribed on youtube this is the only place to find my full length video content is youtube but make sure you head over to my instagram too we just hit a a hundred thousand followers so this is the hundred thousand followers special hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you also follow my other account my only other instagram the daily stock market if you're a stock market investor we've lately had a lot of success in the stock market making thirteen thousand dollars on disney we now have hundreds of successful students just in the past week you can see all these success highlights are just from a few weeks ago and all these are just from a few days ago too so here we can see 61% gains, 200% gains, $1,200 made, account just reached $1,200 for the stock market, and the success stories go on and on. Bangers I took out two contracts. One of them was a 487% gain. Here we have a $10,000 gain, 240% gain. Another student was up $10,000. So cryptocurrency isn't the only place to generate wealth online. Option trading is super hot right now betting on the stock market even going down or up. You can make money either way. Make sure you just shoot a message to me over at the Daily Stock Market or you can even just follow me over on YouTube or just my Instagram, the Daily Stock Market, if you're interested in stock. So with that being said, thank you guys for all the love and support. Smash a like on this video, subscribe, share with a friend if you think that they will find this merge info helpful on Ethereum and I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.